check 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 on Ikis Racing Channel, welcome back! Anyway, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people! What are we doing here? Last video I said uh, ah, endurance racing is my preferred motorsport area section. I will throw into the channel everything I can about uh, contents on uh, endurance. Yes, true, but I had nostalgia. A nostalgia, as you say in Anglo-Saxon, of, of my keyboard. A beautiful keyboard, tone on, maybe, yes, tone on tone with uh, the graphic of Grand Prix 4. Why Grand Prix 4? Well, I had the need, not only for speed, but also to play with keyboard. And uh, luckily, or unluckily for you, I've decided that Grand Prix 4 was, anyway, the best platform to be introduced into my channel. I've never played this game together with you. Plus, I wanted to have the same approach, let's say, that I had with Grand Prix 2 and the tutorial of Grand Prix 2. And so I did some tests, etc, etc, and to me, sounds like Grand Prix 4 is more or less like Grand Prix 2 from a physic engine point of view. The only difference is that maybe this polar moment of inertia is more, maybe more refined with the Grand Prix 4, I don't know. Anyway, I had the possibility to have a bit of uh, spare time and I've decided to propose one particular national pride choice. That is, the fact that generally speaking, uh, everybody wants to race uh, with uh, Barrichello, Schumacher, Hakkinen, etc. Especially with Ferrari, if you are Italian. In my case, I decided to stick on uh, Alex Young and Fernando Alonso with the Menardi Formula 1 that, back in 2001, was also European Menardi because Paul Stoddard, the Australian uh, owner of the European Aviation uh, Company decided to share the business with uh, Giancarlo Minardi of Minardi and uh, on the web I haven't found many videos regarding let's say I don't know uh, a complete season with a, an underdog team or with a backmarker it is something I would like to explore in the future also with GP2, GP3 etc but today I want to use GP4 with uh, the two Minardis and believe me or not, it will be a season with the keyboard entirely as I did for the LGBT last grid best team uh, season with Grand Prix 2 at the beginning of my channel. I'm using the ACE level just having the steering help because with keyboard it's impossible mainly to go also on straight without this help it is the same that was hidden in Grand Prix 2 but there is anyway a little DOS file to remove it so maybe we will use the launch control I don't know anyway no traction control and no auto gears with the ACE level for the race options, I'm going to uh, race, uh, as said, with all the possible failures. And uh, given the championship season, we will have at our disposal all the sessions at 100% duration, realistic weather, and uh, 2001 levels. So expect at least to have uh, Hakkinen, Schumacher, Barrichello and Coulthard fighting for the championship. From a graphic point of view, having a fourth generation i5 processor and a little tiny ATI Radeon HD4650, this is the resolution, but will be, let's say, at everything at the maximum, at 30 frames per second. So will be nice, I think, also to see. So, no more uh, chat, we go directly to the championship season, let's go to drive the 2001 
World Formula One Championship Race One Australia. But before there is this beautiful old manner full of pixel theme of Formula One. Ah, how many memories! So it's, uh, I think, everything in place. Uh, the only thing would be the lap record, one, one minute and thirty. Okay. I said the season will have seventeen races. This one is Melbourne, Melbourne, sorry, and uh, will be in Australia. As this beautiful graphic I've prepared is saying and let's go directly to the i would say qualifying session because i have already the setup tried so i will show you it to you but we can go on also because it's a dry session so we will be okay now with gpx we can have a lot of information Spanning from uh, spanning from uh, lap times, uh, standings, uh, etc. Anyway, we can keep the standings, accelerate a bit the time, and let's see what happens. Thirty minutes, enough. Okay, let's go to car setup, and I will load. The setup hard because I've tried both, uh, like I did in the tutorial of Grand Prix 2, I've tried both uh, smooth, uh, sorry, smooth uh, suspension, hard suspension, and um, let's say that the best uh, solution is this one. So, if you want to have a look, basically, adjustment for wings is 1617 rear front, brake balance 4456. Gear ratio uh, is wrong, should be like this. Okay, so I can save again the setup hard, hard. Okay, so from 25 to 55 with the seventh gear activated, it's a five step through each gear. We will decide anyway the strategy at the end, but I think we will go for two strategies anyway let's start to save it from an advanced point of view anti-robbers all at maximum springs all at the maximum ride 8 is 40 60 pakers not used damper fast bump all at maximum fast rebound all at the maximum slow bump all at the maximum guess it slow rebound all at the maximum differential all at the maximum the car is more or less a go-kart in this uh, moment and it's the best way i found to be at least uh, consistent with my pace and to be let's say quick enough to i think uh, qualify the car in a decent uh, way Ah, sorry, I've not showed you that this beautiful game of 2001, when it was uh, there, had an animation. That is uh, the, removal of, uh, sorry, the removal of the screen. Uh, your engineer that should say clear, but it doesn't. Okay, anyway, we go directly. Sorry for jumping directly into qualifying, but it's uh, it will take uh, more than one hour, an hour and a half, if I do not crash or I do not retire. And I didn't say 
the, the target, you know that I like to challenge myself because I don't like just to race here and there. And uh, I've decided that the target for this season to be successful is bring Minardi to the top five constructor position ranking at the end of the season. I don't know if a while if I will succeed. But I want to be, let's say, a bit proud of my nation, even if I really do not feel the need to be, I mean, Italian, uh, French, uh, German, I mean, we are, uh, we are the world, like uh, Michael Jackson used to say. I think that the Gnardi team uh, deserves an opportunity to be chosen and be raised. It's anyway the second most important Formula One team after Ferrari. Many, let's say, cheer the Alfa Romeo team that historically was also the world champion. But the resources available for Minardi have always been uh, really a tiny fraction of what was available for Alfa Romeo, for Ferrari, etc. And I would say also that because it's 20 years since uh, Grand Prix 4 came to the market. It's a nice idea, I think, to tribute this uh, recurrence, this uh, occasion, in this way. Or at least I like it. So please uh, pardon me if uh, I like it in this way. Okay, uh, loading also the setup for yes, the setup for uh, Alex Young. I try a quick uh, lap time, also because uh, uh, Fernando Alonso is 18 in front of Eric Bernoldi. 2001 was an arrow, like Jos Verstappen, the father of Max, and Thomas Hange with Prost. So we have the possibility to try at least to qualify with the soft tires. Also, Alex Young, I hope uh, as much as possible closer to sorry as much as possible close to Fernando Alonso. So things to keep in mind, the exit of the pit is uh, almost uh, forced by the control over the steering wheel. We have also some uh, informations that I didn't mention. GP4 is uh, running thanks to GPX patch. It is a nice uh, program made by users and aficionados of uh, Micropro's racing games. It allows to see some uh, the function of the car. Some of them are, are also changeable while you drive, something not really available for uh, the original game. Okay, let's try to see 
split times. I think I'm a bit slower than Fernando in the first uh, st section. Okay, we are improving. We could be around 129. Yes, uh, 29.6. And uh, with Alonso we did 29.588, so I think it's uh, more than okay. And uh, we can proceed, I think, to complete this way the qualification. Um, I would say being uh, in front of two arrows, hard engine, I don't remember the, the correct one, and uh, a Prost. Grand Prix is not bad. We are not far anyway from uh, Button with a Benetton. And then there is Franzen with the other arrows. I mean, I'm okay. We are at the end uh, two seconds and a half with a Minardi from the pole sitter that is Juan Pablo Montoya or Montoya if you are from Colombia. And so, fine. I think we can. Uh, Accelerate the time and leave uh, things as they are. Full session. So, top six uh, with pole position for Juan Pablo Montoya with Williams BMW, David Coulthard, McLaren Mercedes, Ralph Schumacher with the other Williams, Mika Hakkinen with the other McLaren, Devon Sparichelli, Michael Schumacher with Ferrari. And going down, here we are. Alonso, 18, Young. 19. Let's continue. Let's see the pre race warm up we'll have in the first part of the session a bit of rain, even if the track is wet. But let's see the condition of the track. Yes, it is raining. So I do not uh, make changes here. I would like to start to save the season. Okay. So we are uh, ready to go back uh, and leave the pre race warm up. So the race, uh, wow, this is the starting grid with the actual pictures of the cars. So, Montoya, Coulthard, Schumacher, Hakkinen, Barrichello, Schumacher, Michael, Trulli Alizi with uh, Jordan, Mugen, Honda, if I'm not wrong, Villeneuve, Jacques, Bar, Honda, Nick Heidfeld, Sauber, Ferrari, for what I remember, then Pani with the other Bar, Honda, and Kimi Raikkonen with the second Sauber, then we have uh, the two Jaguars, with in between Fisichella with the Benetton Renault, then uh, France and with the Prost Grand Prix. I don't remember the engine of the Prost. Then again, Button. Here we are with uh, Alonso and uh, Alex Young, Bernoldi and Verstappen. Sorry, so France was racing with the Prost Grand Prix. Okay, understood. Now I'm uh, in the know. And uh, yes, then we have the two arrows, and then and, and Thomas Inge with the, the Prost. So, the race will be dry, with the sun, so the last minute change I would say they are just uh, to make the same strategy I would say with the pit stop, starting with soft tires, yes. And as you can see on the left, you can then play with the classification, but anyway, let's stay concentrated on the start. Plastic. 
This is Kimi or Hartford. Kimi. P11. After an incredible start. I hope you like the graphic on the left. At least gives you the speed in kilometers per hour. Instead on the steering wheel you see the miles per hour. David Coulthard, fastest lap and also leading the race. At this time to attack Raikkonen. Let's see on the C20 now. Watch out for debris. Ooh, there's a Ferrari of Michael Schumacher. Retired. What happened? He went straight to the wall. He was in front of uh, Barrichello. And not really in the last moment, I mean. So it was maybe starting to catch the drivers in front. That was Mika Hakkinen. Sorry for the notobacco graphics. I will uh, update them uh, in a couple of uh, races. So Barrichello was attacking Mika. I can resist it. And here Michael went straight to the wall. Watch out for debris. Anyway, one less and P9. Alex Young 18th, so we can also reduce the graphic because it's more than beautiful to have all these informations but I do not see the signals. I'm trying to have a pace of comfort but I'm not sure I will catch Nick Heidfeld. I don't believe me or not. Did you see? Alex Young take a slap time at the race. And in the meantime, one Pablo Montoya. He's in the lead. No. He's second. There is a yellow flag in the sector before the racing starting line sorry before the start finish line and also I think that the computer yes took the control of Fernando Alonso and now it's time for us with uh, Alex Young See if the AI will control Alonso will be quicker than Young. So 
so we have Olivia Pani. Five seconds ahead of us. Let's see if we have the pace to catch the French driver of the bar from the team. And Alonso, without me, passed the helpful. And he has currently the second best lap time of the race because the best one. is at this guy here I'm driving no I can't unless Pani starts to slow down I don't have the pace to catch him anyway not bad for this first part of the race at the end we are driving one of the slowest car of this mode the original one 3.9 seconds we haven't as you can see from the number in the bot at the bottom of the screen we haven't even reached the 1.0 consumption well, the front left almost. Okay. Not a good control from the computer. We will see if he will improve. In the meantime, Fernando Alonso is 6. Position 6. P6. Now I have to destroy his... Incredible race. First overlapped cars in front of us. And we are four seconds ahead of Ralph Schumacher. mistake now it all depends on strategy we have two stops to do who knows if we are so quick because we have less fuel on board because I still have three laps of fuel. I want to try the strategy used back in the days where with low fuel we tried the quickest lap of the race. Also because the only pit call I see is the one of Alex Young the others are not stopping. Pit at the end of this lap. Ah, we are listening to the messages of Alex Young. I fear that we are so quick because the others are just with one single pit stop. So it's true that we have uh, five seconds of advantage over Yarno Trulli, that is five seconds after us, ahead of us, sorry, behind us. Hit at the end of this lap. So we have also the privilege to not go to the pit and go back to Alex Young, currently P13.
looking for Heinz Harald Frensen. So we are currently between the top ten, let's say. The only team that already did a pit stop, so I feel but definitely the others are just running with one pit stop strategy so definitely we are just uh, a sort of uh, fake quick car so we have to hope for some retirements in front of us Instead, our possible final result will be around P10, so no points. Because if I'm not wrong, back in 2001, points were 10 for the victory, 6 4 3 2 1, up to the sixth driver. mistake like a little bit Fernando how slow is the post retraction ah, because it was Thomas Ange it was a post but it was not Heinz Harald Frenzen so the thing is uh, because we are not gaining advantage over the drivers in front of us we have been uh, quick, yes but just because we had a strategy of two pit stops and so just the car very light ok so we got to catch Fernando currently P10 at least this time the computer will give us the car on a straight and still we have to catch Olivier Pani that didn't stop for his first and last pit stop half of the race gone Ten laps before the next pit stop. And now, very soon, should start the dance of the pit stop for all the drivers we have uh, ahead of us. So in this moment we are uh, with equal possibilities of scoring points. We don't have any advantage. Okay, Hakkinen is the first. Look at the classification, pit call. And the next passage we will start.
I think it was a clean uh, passage. Yes, I was fearing that he was coming back. the following corners but we have succeeded to keep him back now seven seconds to recover from uh, Jean-Elysée will be very tough also Trulli in the pit and Alizé the next lap both with Jordan Morgan Honda. I see a water leak for Hakkinen. So it does mean that maybe if it is confirmed, Alex Young will gain one position. We are currently P6. Seven seconds, almost eight from Heitfeld. Yellow flag in the main straight. So we leave Alonso P4, but in five laps he will do the pit stop. The same will happen to Alex Young. But if I could fight, with Alizy, I could make him lose a bit of time. leaving Fernando a bit more in comfort. Fernando P3 with all the pits around. Okay, Fernando next lap will stop. This time we will go longer with Alex. Driving a Minardi that has the less powerful engine of the mode. I understand how difficult is uh, the life of drivers. And they don't have the best package. They have to struggle and to really push Harder than the other, than the others. And luckily, I didn't succeed on uh, having uh, Alex Young while he was uh, still in front of Alizy. So maybe now Fernando is uh, also passing on track. Jean, yes, he did it. Okay, doesn't make any difference, I think. I stop now or in the next lap. Colors are almost gone. In Grand Prix 2 and they arrived to 2.0. What I've seen. What happened to Fernando.
There was in front. Rick Bernaldi. It was overlapped. But obviously had to stay in the middle of the road. Recovering from a previous mistake. While he was overlapped by Ralf Schumacher. Yes, we can argue that Fernando should have been more cautious, but this is racing. It's now very difficult to get some points. At least he didn't break front wing or wheels. Okay, so 42, 16 laps to go. I want to show you the incredible animation for the pit stop. Tires changed. Not bad eh? for a game of 2001. not good for an idiot like me. Okay, for the last time we are going to drive uh, Fernando Alonso, currently P7, far four seconds from journalism. So our mission is to be as close as possible the French driver of the Jordan Mugen Honda. Okay, Eric Bernoldi is out of the race, but before doing it, he had to be in the middle of the road while Fernando was passing. No, I will not catch. Easy. Without the clash with Bernoldi, could have been a P6 for uh, Fernando. Okay, let's hope now for the AI that will be maybe quicker than me. In the meantime, we we'll have here. Alex Young, 20 seconds far from Olivier Pani. He has just to defend the position against Heidfeld. So we go to the end uh, this way. Seven laps to go. Those are okay. Almost new. Fernando Alonso nine tenths behind Alizy. I must admit, I'm not a lemon to prepare a setup. But the AI much better than me to then drive the setup. Fernando Alonso 8 tenths behind Alizy. 3 tenths between the two. 2 tenths now. And Fernando Alonso in front of Jean Alizy. Let me see the replay. There's two tents. Behind. So 
So he took the slipstream. I would say almost an easy pass. Obviously, it's not. Now he doesn't have uh, 22 seconds of speed to get also Ralf Schumacher. Three laps to go. Yellow flag in the sector we are approaching. Thomas Ainge out of the race with the Prost Acer Peugeot. I don't remember the the engine used by the French team in 2001. Okay. The dynamic is not clear to me. I made a mistake. Okay, I read very long and I failed was quicker than me to choose the right line. A silly mistake. But it cost me the position 9. Now with 5 seconds and 2 laps to go, it's impossible to catch the German. What happened? straight I was totally late on the apex okay try and get back A silly mistake. I could have had two Minardis in the top ten. Uh, I'm not Gilles Villeneuve. What a silly mistake. Yeah, obviously. Grand Prix 2 has the privilege to repair any kind of break broken part. As you can see they repair anything. I think that the race is over. And because we are on lap down, and yes, uh, we finish at least with both cars. This is Alonso. What happened to Alonso? engine problem but P5 I see on the 
I see on the steering wheel. Ah, because truly retiring. In Italy, we say that this is uh, botta di culo, that is uh, a hit made uh, with uh, your bottom to say that you are very lucky despite what happens because well done. the engine has stopped to leave after the checkered flag yes well done we're I in the point i can't believe it Okay, let's say that the unlucky situation where Fernando clashed with Enrique Bernardi was overlapped. At least, Karma has operated to give something back. Okay, the race is over, luckily. Wow, I hope you have enjoyed it. Two hours of recording that will be cut down into, I think, one hour and a half. But uh, let's go to see the full race results, where uh, we started very well this season. We could have been, I think, uh, seventh in front of Olivier Pani or maybe Nick Heidfeld. Anyway, we could have been uh, not one lap down, not 17th with Alex Young, but luckily we have a master of Formula One, it is Fernando Alonso, arrived fifth at the debut with the Minardi, giving two points to the team in a race where uh, McLaren dominated with David Coulter but retired with Mika Hakkinen for a water leak, from what I remember, yes. Second, Rubens Barrichello for Ferrari, while Schumacher was the first retired with a crash at the beginning of the race, while he was fifth. Then the two Williams, Montoya and Schumacher, Alonso and Sergio Minardi, and sixth, Jean Alesi with Jordan Mugen Honda. The lap chart is a nice uh, way to explain what happened. So, for example, Montoya started first, went down a bit to arrive then third. Coulthard started second, had just during the pit stop moment in second position and then uh, regained. The one that was almost beating uh, Coulter with Schum was Schumacher starting third, going down a bit and then finishing fourth. Akinen has said retired, Barrichello second after a fifth starting position in uh, qualifying in front of his teammate Michael Schumacher, the current world champion. But look at Fernando Alonso, that started very well, gaining a lot of positions. And then, around P10, had the pace to pass many other drivers, to be honest, driven by the artificial intelligence. Doing the pit and going a bit down, then up again, until the end. Not bad, really. We can see also the driver best lap. Alex Young did beat the record on 28. Alonso fired two tenths, then Ferrari, Williams, and McLaren. So at least I must say we weren't the quickest driven by me in the qualifying session, but at least the setup of prepared is more than welcomed by artificial intelligence that did really incredible performance so i hope the next and the rest of this season will be in this way so first uh, classification and then i will write under the graphic here 
Holter 10, Barrichello 6, Montoya 4, Fischumacher 2, Alonso 1, Alesi. The Constructors Race Point. In this moment, if the world should end, I've achieved the target of being the, in the top 5 Constructors ranking position. And so I would be very happy to score here and there points at every race. At this point, at least I have to beat always the, the Jordan, because Ferrari, Williams and McLaren, I think, that are out of my possibility. So we can uh, continue. This is the confirmed classification after one race. So we can save. go back in especially to the next Grand Prix that will be the Kuala Lumpur Malaysian circuit but I don't know I have to learn uh, this track so maybe I will practice offline anyway I hope you have enjoyed this first episode of uh, Grand Prix 4 with the full season 100% hardcore hardcore with the Minardi team and I give you the appointment very soon for the round number two. Thank you very much for watching so far. I wish you all the best. As always, if you don't know what to do, stay home, stay away. I'm joking. Stay home, stay safe, stay awesome. See you very soon. Bye bye.